Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use direct monitoring to get zero latency while recording in Reaper. So I have a project in front of me here, and I want to record some vocals. And I've already created a vocal track right here. And normally, we put the track into record, go to our input, and set it to where our vocal mic is plugged into on our computer audio interface. Make sure we have level on the track by having our singer sing. I'm gonna make sure that you love me. And we do. But if we notice, the vocal track is dry. So I wanna add some effects to this track to make it sound more inspiring for the singer. So go to the track effects, and I'm gonna right click and go down here to effects chains, because I already saved one to use for vocals. Vocal delay and reverb, which is basically a read delay plugin with 180 milliseconds panned to the left and 210 milliseconds panned to the right, creating a slapback delay. Then we have a reverb afterwards with a pretty big room and very little dampening. So let's hear what the vocal sounds like now. I'm gonna make sure that you love me. That sounds a lot better and more inspiring for our singer. But there could be one problem with this. If there's too much latency in our system, our singer's gonna hear a delay in their headphones. In other words, the time it takes for her vocal to go through the mic into our audio interface, into the computer and Reaper, and back out to our monitors or the headphones. That's known as latency. And we can check it. If we go up here, we can see right now it's 4.9 milliseconds, which typically is pretty short. So it shouldn't be that hard to work with. And we can adjust this latency in the audio device settings. Now I'm using a Mac, so my audio device is right here, and my latency is set right over here with the request block size. With it set to 128, we're getting about five milliseconds of delay or latency. But if you're running a system that can't keep up with this low of a setting, maybe hearing glitches in the audio because your computer is a bit older, or your drivers for your interface are a bit slower, in those situations, we're probably gonna have to set the block size a bit higher, like maybe 512, which is gonna give us about 13 milliseconds of latency, or even higher, like 1024, which will give us about 25 milliseconds of latency, which is starting to get a bit too long. We'll go even higher to 2048, and now our latency is almost 50 milliseconds, which is way too long for recording our vocals. Our singer is going to really notice that delay. Now, again, I'm on a Mac. If you're using a PC, it's going to look more like this. With the audio system set to ASIO, our driver set based on our interface, and down over here in the ASIO configuration, we could adjust our latency. Or we could do it with the request block size over here, like we did it with the Mac. But either way, if our system requires that our latency be that high, it's gonna be difficult to record our vocals. But luckily, there's a lot of interfaces that have a feature called direct monitoring. Let's take a look at a few. Here we have a Personas interface, and it handles direct monitoring with this mixer knob. Normally, we'd have this knob turned completely towards playback. But if we want to hear our inputs directly, we can move it over towards the inputs and hear a bit of both, which will give us direct monitoring with zero latency. Now for this Audient interface, it has an input and a DAW knob. Again, we're normally going to have it fully 
by DAW. We could bring it over to the input and mix our inputs with our computer or Reaper. And the same thing for the same audio interface. USB is our computer, so we'd have it over here and move it over to direct to bring in these inputs. Again, using zero latency or direct monitoring on the way in. Now, if we're using this Focusrite interface, it doesn't have a knob. Instead, it has a direct monitor button. So if we push it, we're going to hear our inputs along with Reaper, still creating direct monitoring with zero latency. Or if we use a mixer like this, we can just bring up the fader for our mic so we can directly monitor that input. Or if it's an analog console, we can do the same thing. Just bring up the fader for that channel and we could directly monitor our mic or line inputs, again with zero latency. Now, if we're going to use direct monitoring through our interface, we need to turn off input monitoring on our track. Otherwise, we're going to hear our vocal in both places, through this track in Reaper and also directly from our interface. So if we right click over here, we could turn off monitor input. Or we could just click this icon once to switch it to monitor input tape auto style, or again to turn it off completely. So now we're not going to hear our vocal through this track, even though it's still going to see input on the meter like this. But now we could turn on direct monitoring so we can then hear the vocal. So let's try recording some vocals. I'ma make sure that you love me. I'ma make sure I stay on your mind. But if you notice, there's a problem. Our vocal is completely dry because we're not hearing it through this channel. We're just hearing it with our direct monitoring. So we're not going to hear that delay and reverb we set up before. But if we play back this recording, I'ma make sure that you love me. I'ma make sure I stay on your mind. Then we do. So on playback, it sounds right because it's going through our channel. But during recording, it's going to be dry because we turned off the monitoring right here. So it's not as inspiring for the singer to sing without the effects. But luckily, there's a workaround. Let's undo that recording. Then let's duplicate this track. Right click, duplicate tracks. And then right here, we have a duplicate of the vocal track. Let's rename it Vocal Effects Only. And we're going to use this track just for the effects while she's singing on the input. So we'll go to the effects and choose the first effect in the chain. Then we'll choose the dry fader and pull it all the way down. So now this track is just going to be wet effects, no dry sound at all. We'll get our dry sound from the direct monitoring. So let's change the monitoring on this track right here to be on. Monitor input turned on. So now we are going to hear the vocal through this track, but not this one. But we're just going to hear the effects. In fact, let's turn off direct monitoring just for now to hear it. And now if she sings, we're just going to hear the effects. Again, we're not hearing the sound through this track because monitoring is turned off. We're just hearing it through this one right here. But we're just hearing 100% wet effects. So now we can turn direct monitoring back on. And now let's have her sing. 
I'ma make sure that you love me. Notice it sounds exactly the same. We're hearing the dry vocal through the direct monitoring on our interface, but we're hearing the effects through this track. But if we go into record now, it's going to record both tracks at the same time. And we don't need that. So let's change the recording mode on this track to be record disabled. Input monitoring only. So now, if we go into record, it's just going to record on this track. Even though we're going to monitor with direct monitoring, along with the effects through this track. So it's going to sound the same while we record as it will during playback. So let's check it out. I'ma make sure that you love me. I'ma make sure I stay on your mind. Notice it sounds exactly the same with the dry vocal coming through a direct monitoring on the interface and the effect sound coming from this track. But it didn't record over here. It just recorded over here. But on playback, it's going to play the dry sound along with the effects all from this track. And it should sound exactly the same. I'ma make sure that you love me. I'ma make sure I stay on your mind. And it does. It sounds exactly the same on input as it does on playback, but with no latency because we used direct monitoring on our interface. And this is also going to work if we punch in the vocal. Let's punch in the second line. And notice it sounds the same. This phrase is going to play back while this phrase is going to record. I'm going to make sure that you love me. I'm going to make sure I stay on your mind. Both phrases sound exactly the same, with the same proportion of dry sound to effect sound. So it's a perfect solution for recording vocals, guitars, or any live instrument when we want to hear our effects during the recording, but still have zero latency. So that's pretty much it. That's how to use direct monitoring to get zero latency while recording in Reaper. I hope you learned something, hope you can use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.